this process here on the screen, you can see that all of my activity steps have a video icon on the left hand side. If you click once on the video icon, it will bring up a preview of what's in that video. It's actually the first frame of that uh, particular video section. If you double click on it, it's going to play back the video for you in a window here. So this will actually play the, the piece of the video that it's talking about. Now when you're looking at this, you can actually see, notice the little arrows are out. So you make it whatever size you wish and it that size and hold it for you uh, for all your future browsing here. Now how exactly does this uh, video icon get here? So here's a flowchart of the application. So here's the process analysis and line balancing area. And if you bring data in from the Video Timer Pro, it's going to actually have the videos embedded in it already when it's passed over into the uh, process analysis. To show an example of that here, here's our example where we have the, um, uh, the operators collapsing the cage and so forth. And you can see here I've got operator 1, 2, 3, 4 and the stockman here. And of course, when I do my time preview, the time preview is how we get the data from the uh, from the video time study module into the process analysis and balancing area here. So if I just click on this here, give it a couple of seconds, here's my process here. And notice here that all of the items have the uh, uh, video icon here. So I can click on it for a preview and double click to play it back here. Okay, so there you see the the, uh, the operator uh, working here. So the idea is that when the data comes from the video time st study, the video will automatically be there for you to use. Now here we've got a process that did not come from the Video Timer Pro, and you can see here none of the icons are available to me here. So there's no video capability in this process at all here. Now there are options that you can add videos to it, and that's the most common one is to hit the right mouse button and do the edit media, which would be covered in a separate video in this section. So you can actually add video to existing processes that do not have videos very easily within Timer Pro as well.